לחם עבודה השכלה. בסדרת ראיונות זו אנו בוחנים את הבעיות הבוערות בשוק העבודה ואת החשש מאובדן הביטחון התעסוקתי בעולם משתנה. היום נארח את מריה מרסד, נשיאת TSMC אירופה, ספקית שבבים מהגדולות בעולם ואחת הנשים הבכירות ביותר בענף המוליכים למחצה. נדון בשאלה מדוע יש מחסור בסטודנטים ועובדים בתחומי מדע וטכנולוגיה, ובפרט עובדות. היי מריה. הלו. שלום. שלום. You have a PhD in engineering and you are one of the top ranking executives in the semiconductor industry. Can you tell us a little more about how you chose to go to this area from the beginning? In my time, I really wanted to do engineering because there is a say in Spain uh, that is that um, a complete person has to write a book, um, plant a tree and have a child. And I was thinking when I was a child, you know, why women only have the children, but they are not, too many of them, they are not writing books or planting the, the trees. And I wanted to be very complete. So I said, I want to do all of this. I want to write the book, I want to plant the tree, and I want to have a child. And I thought the only way of doing this was uh, having a studies that will allow me to be independent and will allow me, you know, to really work productively uh, to the society. This was my answer. However, if my daughter asked me today, I will use a different argument. I will say, look at engineering, innovation, and especially in my area, semiconductors, is really the bedrock on which all the innovation lies around. We are changing people's life. We are changing the way the people work, the way the people entertain themselves, the way the people communicate, and this is really fantastic. We are really enriching people's life. But still we see less people going into uh, engineering and technology and science in universities and in work. Why do you think it is, and how do you go about fixing it? I think uh, you are very right, and, uh, and uh, it's primarily because engineering is, has not been popular in the last few years. I am also the chairwoman of the GSA, Global Semiconductor Association in Europe, and we have initiated a study together with Oxford um, a University in order to analyze the impact of the semiconductors. When you see uh, the overall ecosystem and how Uh, semiconductors or electronics influence the, the telecommunication market or the uh, uh, computing or the telephony or the uh, automotive or the even medical um, uh, equipment and so on and so forth. Um, the analysis show that overall impact is about three trillion uh, dollars. Go to universities, go even to the decision makers in the governments for them to stimulate teenagers to really go to university and study science and engineering because this is really the way we are going to be able to be a successful society. There is no doubt about it. But we have to promote it. If a young woman is considering going into technology or science and is worried about the fact that it's a Uh, mostly a male dominated culture uh, that the workplace will be dominated by such and also that uh, her work will be very very technical mm -hmm. what would you say to uh, such a young woman um, it really varies by uh, by region um, I work a lot for obvious reasons because my company is Taiwanese I work a lot in Asia and I can tell you in Asia um, women have achieve you know very very uh, um, high level uh, positions a lot of engineers are female and um, and in my company for instance if I look at the top uh, uh, 15 jobs about um, 30% will be female again it's still 30% is not 50% so you are right but I think we are making progress and Asia has made a big progress Uh, Europe uh, culture and even Israel culture is very old culture and this is very good right because we have a lot of very good traditions and a lot of uh, uh, historical um, uh, culture behind us but certainly um, this is not in favor of women and uh, so we have to, to break this, um, this uh, ceiling and uh, we have to make an effort. My uh, encouragement to women will be, hey uh, ladies it's completely up to us. 
So what do we want? We want to be successful. We want to really uh, uh, have an impact and leave our mar mark in, in, the, in the society. We have to, uh, to really focus on those things. Uh, otherwise, yes, uh, I mean, we will be always, you know, behind the, uh, the men and this cannot be. Did you encounter um, obstacles, uh, you know, being a woman in such industry? At the very beginning, when I was uh, looking for a job, I remember companies telling me, sorry, you really, uh, we don't have uh, uh, toilets for women, for instance, uh, or, you know, um, silly answers like this. But no, you know, immediately, um, um, I, I think I, f I found my way. I, I, I have not seen really a big obstacles. I think the obstacle sometimes is ourselves. Um, we are afraid of speaking up typically because the way we speak, the, the, the way we argue typically is different than the way the uh, men argue. And when we are, as we are a minority, typically, you know, we, we refrain ourselves and we don't speak up and then, you know, so my advice always to women is um, don't pretend to be men. Be yourself. We are women. We have a different voice, you know, maybe a bit more, um, you know, not so uh, loud, but, you know. Uh, so so uh, uh, speak yourself. Um, be confident of yourself. Um, we have a lot of values. Uh, many companies are now uh, realizing that uh, to more variety and more success and more economic success. So they are admitting this. So we have to improve our self-esteem mm -hmm. and, uh, and be more confident.